Hello and welcome to Ataldazar 10. Uh, I have used a flask and a uh, food for this. Uh, the 10 differs from all the other runs because on a 10 you get extra ability, a extra affix that you have to deal with. It's awakened. There's gonna be four obelisks around the dungeon you have to deal with. In every single obelisk there's gonna be an extra mob you have to kill. Those mobs are usually dealt with differently. They you can drag them around in the dungeon to skip some trash mobs and trash packs, which I'm gonna show you as soon as as we as we progress through the dungeon. So you'll see how that goes. I'm gonna use my um, heroism pet for this because um, we might gonna need heroism for this. These mobs are kind of tricky because they charge you and this week's affix is also bursting meaning uh, every time you kill a mob it gives you a stack of burst that means that you cannot kill more than three or four otherwise you take a lot of damage when they die so it's advisable that you kill like three at a time and not more than that, otherwise the healer will not be able to heal you up and then you die. 100%. Like we're gonna die here for sure, like just look at this. Okay, we didn't die, that was really lucky. It's advisable that you, you do not heal three at a time, three or more at a time. Okay, on this boss, you're gonna see how it goes. You have to line of sight when he tries to fear you. There, the hero was already popped. And when he's trying to chase you, you can either feign death. Okay, this is the fear. So you hide behind this wall so he doesn't fear you. There we go. Now he's gonna try to chase someone. That person has to run away, as you can see here. He's running away. Get out of the eye so he doesn't annoy you. There's more fear. You're gonna hide behind the little pillar or the wall Run away, little girl. he's gonna chase Run me away. now <laughs> he caught me I'm gonna die for sure that was my bad he's gonna rest me resummon my pet See, if he grabs you when he's chasing you, you're gonna die for sure. And that's what happened to me. I was trying to run away from him and feign death, but I failed. Next, we're gonna go, let's see where the tank is gonna lead us. We go to the left. Okay, there's the first obelisk here. Here we clear some trash before that. <laughs> There's nothing to interrupt on these mobs, so we're good. The mobs you want to interrupt are augurs. There's an augur back there, as you can see. I don't know if we're gonna do that pack or not, but it doesn't really seem that way. So we're just gonna skip them. So this is the first mini boss from the obelisk. It's a spider. As you can see, he put some ads on the floor. When the ads are trying to explode, they're gonna make this green circle. You do not want to stand in a green circle. The, uh, the ads just explode periodically after a while. You can either kill them or let them explode. It's up to you. Ok, 
Okay, we kill all the ads. There's no more ads. It's not gonna drag this boss anywhere, as I can see. So we're just gonna kill it here. Okay. Now we go to the other side. Uh, the pathing for each tank will always be different. In um, here you have to kill the totem as fast as you can. The pathing will always be different. Each tank will have his own route which you can follow. So wh wherever the tank goes, just follow the tank and follow his instructions. Because there are many, many ways to do this dungeon. And I'm just showing you one of them right now, so... Kill the totem here as fast as you can. Okay, totem is dead. Because the totem uh, heals the the ad and tries to rain him, rain, like revive him in a way. We have hex. Get away from the group. So you don't hex the other people. There's gonna be a another obelisk here, which we're gonna do. Going in. There are ads inside where you can deal with. This uh, This mini boss is trying to fear you. So, as he's trying to fear you, you stay away from the other people so you don't fear them. Also, for the previous mini boss, for the spider, I forgot to tell you that you have to interrupt the spider as much as you can. As much as you can. Because he does some nasty casts and he puts debuffs on people. So it's always advisable to interrupt the boss. This was for the spider, not this one. Because I forgot to mention for the spider. So this boss will get dragged over here. To this section. We skipped a lot of trash right now, as you can see. I'm going to get out, I'm going to show you which trash we skipped. So we skipped all of that over there. Kill the totem here. There's more hexes. You want to stay out of this green stuff. Okay. get inside the obelisk again. Here you want to kill the tentacles and make sure to interrupt them as well. The goal here is to kill all the tentacles before you go onto the um, interrupt. You go onto the mini boss. There we go. You also leave some trails on the ground which you have to avoid as much as you can he's gonna drag it inside of the area where the actual boss is we're gonna kill this ad here then when I deal with a boss on the next boss there are three totems you have to kill the three totems approximately at the same time otherwise uh, they revive and you cannot proceed to the next stage of the boss I'm afraid So I'm going to take the totem on the left here. Beware. You can see the health Three, totem in the right two, corner of my screen. One. Beware. They're going pretty much down at the same time. Okay, dead, Beware. dead. And dead and this is stage two of the boss it's always important to kill the totems all at the same time as fast as you can I if one of the totem is going down too fast then you have to slow down on that totem but a anyway each dps takes one and then you kill them all at the same time to avoid 
all this stuff on the floor and try to move closer to this so it always puts you in a good spot so you can place it close to the previous slime on the floor okay so this boss is almost dead nothing too special about it go. Now we go back into the obelisk where we came from. And then we use it to, uh, to skip this trash over here and exit here. There's gonna be two hidden mobs here so you have to be careful. Kill these two. Okay, there we go. Here you have to want to interrupt the witch doctors because they do hexes. As soon as you see that he's casting the hex, make sure to interrupt it like this. Like I've done that right now. But you have to be really quick because the cast is really fast. So you have to be careful. There's another witch doctor. If you see him casting, I'm gonna stun him just in case. Okay, that was fine. We open the gate here and we proceed forward. Be careful with these little ads. They charge and they try to screw you over. Make sure inter to interrupt this Sky Screamer that we're killing right now. Six stacks, this is bad. I'm using my health stone. Okay, see? He was interrupted. The fear, because he tries to fear you and your party members. So if you get feared into, let's say, that pack over there, then then it's really, really bad. Okay, are we gonna get a rest? Or I'm not really sure. Probably not. Might just go forward, I guess. Oh yeah, we can just keep this trash. What is he doing? here, which you have to deal with. We have to care, be careful with bursting. We're gonna die again if they if they keep killing them so fast. <laughs> like, this shouldn't really happen, but because these people are not careful with bursting. This happens when you get too much stacks of bursting. This is one of the affixes this week, so, yeah. We have eight deaths so far. That's not bad, but it's not good either. Here we want to interrupt the auger. The auger is the most annoying one because he puts wildfires on the ground, which try to follow you and kill you. So it's always important that you interrupt that guy as fast as you can. Okay, here are the fires. If you can avoid the fires, like that like I just failed. Okay. I'm just gonna run back. I hate these fires because they're really nasty sometimes. 
and on the higher keys they kill you pretty much instantly like as you can see here After we clear this trash, there's gonna be the next boss, which we have to deal with. We have nine deaths so far. That's that's okay, I guess. We can still time it, I think. Interrupt the auger. That's the fire engine you have to interrupt. Yeah, there we go. again when you see him casting. Okay, there we go. These mobs are nasty and fortified as well. This week is tyrannical, that means more HP to the mobs and more damage and uh, more HP to the bosses and more damage to them as well. Okay, on the warlock release, so we have to wait for him. I'm gonna use my food here till we wait for him, I guess. this next uh, boss there's gonna be ad which you have to kill as fast as you can and CC the ad as well with some whatever you can freezing trap or something or slowing trap or knockbacks or anything like that because he's gonna try to reach for the blood pools if he reaches the blood pool he's gonna destroy it because we need the blood pools in order to stop the boss from healing so five people get in one of the each of the one of the blood pools and then uh, you'll, you'll see how the fight goes. Uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's true. It's, he's gonna try to do transfusion. Okay, there, there's the uh, ad. You have to kill the spirit of gold before it reaches the. Nobody's killing it for some reason. Okay, there we go. See these blood pools? As soon as he does, she does transfusion. You have to get inside the blood pool, like this. And then she, instead of healing herself, she drains our blood and she damages herself that way. My will find There's an ad again. Kill the ad. As you can see, I have str I've tried to slow this ad a little bit. We kill it before it reached the blood pool. Take in blood, we move to the blood again. She's gonna do transfusion, trying to damage us that way, but she also loses health. And now we finish off the boss here. There we go. Now we go all the way back. Where we came from. You have only succeeded in strengthening my hold on the temple. And here someone is gonna bait probably the ads to go away. You made it so we can do the obelisk. There we go, the hunter is going, I think. Yeah. Now he baits the mobs away, so we are out of combat, and we get inside the obelisk as fast as we can and deal with the um, with the ad here.
just uh, go up the stairs. You don't have to avoid any of these spiders because you're in different it's a different phase. Kill the ad here. The hunter probably did a feign death, entered the obelisk again from a different location, probably in start, and he got to us that way. Okay, there we go. Now we just do the boss. On this boss, when um, when she does breaking pain, you have to interrupt. When she does. Uh, I don't know what's the name Run of the the soul rent. You have to go back, all the way back away from the boss, stack on the same spot, and then kill the Beware. adds when they spawn. You have to kill the adds when they spawn here. Also, here uh, you have to try to avoid the spiders on the floor. You do not want to touch the spiders at any cost, no matter what, because they do a lot of damage. There's gonna Beware. be a small rent really soon, so we have to be careful with that. There we go. We all stack up here. And then we kill the adds again. Okay, there's more spiders, I have to be really careful so they don't kill me. Okay, I triggered one, that's okay. Beware. I'm gonna pass through here on the other side with the other guys. So we can be close to them when we when she does soul right again. There's a soul right. Okay. Kill the ads again. As fast as you can. And then Simply finish off the boss. There we go. Was this plus two? I'm not really sure. Cannot see. This was plus two. Okay, we bumped the key for plus two with this time. Even we though we had a lot of deaths. Okay, I got a nice belt, which I'm not gonna use because I don't need it. I have 470, that's okay. And this was about it, this was the whole dungeon. I can show you the layout real quick here. So four obelisks, one, two, three, four, and that's about it. You deal with the obelisks, you deal, deal with um, all the affixes this way was skittish enemies pay far less attention to threat ge ge generated by tank this is an okay affix this is this is pretty decent bursting which I saw you that we died a couple of times because of that that's not really a problem if you deal with like three or four mobs at the same time and then you kill them it shouldn't be an issue but if you kill more than four or five or six then you're gonna die for sure like we did and tyrannical Boss enemies have 40% more health and inflicts up to 50% increased damage. That's about it. These are these were the affixes, and this was a Taldazar. So I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope I have helped you a little bit. And um, this was a 10. And I also wanted to say that 10 is pretty much equal to 11. So there is no difference between 10 and 11, so I don't really have to show you 11 or something like that, because 10 or 11 are pretty much the same. So it's not really that big of a difference. So yeah, this was about it. Thank you for watching and have a good one.